At first, I thought this was really cool. But then, I realized, maybe not so much. Hello everyone, Larry Satchwell here. This is on my cone flower, and it's called Aster Yellows, which is a bacterial infection, and it's gonna be spread to other plants around here by sucking insects. There's no cure for it. I've got to get rid of it. And I think it's just on this one plant so far. But I've got to try to isolate it. And I don't want to infect all the other plants. It's inside the plant. I don't think I need to be super careful, but I do need to try to isolate this one plant. Now see over here, <clears throat> it's just fine so far. But I've got to find this one particular plant. It looks like this plant has spread quite a bit. That's just a weed. I'm going to try to get the affected areas here. I'll leave a link. Uh, Google Photos showed me what this was. And it needs to be corrected. None of the other cornflowers seem to have it. Oh, here's one. Oh, shoot. That's another plant. It's on the purple one so far, and that plant is isolated. Okay. So yesterday I was at Walmart and lucked out. Uh, some mostly dead cone flowers were on sale for a dollar. It's in the roots. So that one's up. I don't see any more, but I'm not going to replant right here. I'm a little concerned. There's a big hole here. I don't know how long it stays in the soil, so more research is needed on that. But I'm going to put the new ash, uh, the new cone flowers up here, higher on the hill. This I need to move to the other one. I'm really disappointed. The picture showed these flowers as being giants, and they're not. But they're still pretty, and it looks like there's going to be a lot of them. I don't know how to say this. I wish I'd taken Latin in high school now. But that's what this is. And it's a perennial. I've got these daylilies here that I've been trying to get rid of. So I'm going to plant these new flowers up here hoping it's far enough away or the grounds dry I had these flowers soaking in a bucket overnight but I'll need to water them several times today these roots are actually under this rock that's why they come came back I'm going to have to move the rock. Take some of the stress off of these. I'm going to cut off the flowers, the heads. Boy, this ground is dry. And we've had several frequent thunderstorms. So I, there it is. I need to get water on this right away. 
and uh, I hope these will live and I'll just keep looking for asters yellows on the others and hopefully I don't have to take away any more plants uh, thanks for watching I hope your perennial garden or your vegetable garden is flourishing in this hot summer heat